Hello, my name is Gary Soper. Greetings from Beaverton, Oregon in the USA. Um, I am here uh, once again for my seventh uh, time in uh, teaching um, in Kapu at in Uskemenegorsk, in Kazakhstan. Thank you for agreeing to be interviewed. We are glad to see you here. Thank you. Why did you decide to become a teacher? I had taught classes as a young man. Um, I really enjoyed um, seeing people learn and it, it made me um, excited for them. And so uh, when I once discovered that the, um, what the job entailed and what it involved, um, I decided that yes, I, it's like a fire was lit in me when I first started um, practicing. It was very exciting. It, um, it made me realize that it was a job that I would enjoy doing my, for my whole career. Whoa, whoa. it's good. Watching people learn and do better. Where did you study? Um, I got my uh, degree from Portland State University in Portland, Oregon. Um, I have two degrees. Um, mm. 1984, I, I uh, graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in geography, and then in 1988, I graduated with a Bachelor of Science degree in elementary education. Uh, tell about your family, please. My family, well, my wife Sally is a high school Spanish teacher. Mm. Um, she has been teaching Spanish for about 15 years. We have been married since 1980, that's 38 years. Oh. And we have two grown daughters, Elizabeth is 28, and she is in the university studying music. And then our daughter Sarah is 26, and she graduated two years ago um, with a degree in photography and fine arts. It's we cool. also have a cat, <laughs> Moo Moo. Oh, <laughs> so sweet. Uh, do you have a person who influenced your life? I would say probably the people that influenced my life the most. Um, I had a teacher who I had for writing classes in high school, Mrs. Cameron. And uh, I also had a teacher that when I took um, classes in woodworking, um, he told me actually that I, um, I was an assistant to, to the instructor and he said, I think that you would make a very good teacher. And then um, I had some friends that were teachers that I went to church with. I was teaching young children and they said, I we really see um, things in you that we think that if going and becoming a professional teacher would be a good occupation for you. What is the most important in teaching children? Patience. That's an easy question to answer. I think that um, patience is one of the most important things. Uh, be patient with them and uh, teach so that you don't frustrate them. I think having my own children helped me be a better teacher also. Of course. And mm -hmm. also I think part of it is to don't take yourself or your job too seriously because working with children funny things will happen unpredictable things will happen so you have to enjoy those things <laughs> good uh, what kind of sport do you prefer um playing or participating or watching maybe watching watching i really like uh baseball my favorite team is the new york yankees mm -hmm. and in our city we have a professional soccer team, we have uh, football, um, we have professional basketball, we have professional hockey. I like also watching um, professional basketball. Our um, the team is the Portland Trailblazers. Cool. Um, do you have a favorite author? A favorite author? Mm -hmm. I would say uh, from a children's author is Bill Peet. Uh, Bill Peet is a uh, he was, was an unusual author because not only did he write his stories, but he also illustrated his stories, and he illustrated his stories using crayons. Um, Bill Pete worked for
for Walt Disney for about three years before they had an argument and then he went off on his own and writing and illustrating his own books. Mm. Uh, tell about your first meet with Yerzhep Akhairovich Mabitkazif, please. Oh, my first meeting. Wow, let's see. Well, this is my seventh time at Kafu. So the very first time um, I was supposed to teach classes in the afternoon and Sarek said, uh, you're not teaching this afternoon. I said, what do you mean? I have scheduled classes. He said, no, Yerzhep wants to meet with you. I said, okay. So in the meeting, um, we had coffee, and he said, please be honest with me. Tell me three things. What do you think of Kafu? What do you think of our students? And are you enjoying your time here? So we discussed those items very candidly. And what uh, did you say? Oh, well, I said, I think that part of it is the um, Kazakhstan's uh, education system is a little bit different than America. Um, I said that most of the students that I taught um, were motivated and enthusiastic about learning, but like in America, you always have some that really don't care. They're on their phones all the time. They're not paying attention. They don't take notes, but you can't um, eliminate that problem. The other thing I said is that um, I felt that the students here did not have enough time to eat during the day. Good. <coughs> uh, do you know that? <coughs> do you know that Kafu have twenty uh, fifth anniversary? In yes, it's coming up next um, September. Yes, and uh, what are your wishes for Kafu? Well, my wish is that um, students would continue to get a, a quality education. Thank you. And I also would hope that uh, Kafu uh, is able to align itself with a lot of the technology that is available in both um, accessibility to the students and the students being made aware of their use of it in the world around them. I also would hope that the university would continue to flourish and that more students would come here and recognize the value of a higher education. Oh, it's very cool. And that's last question. Is it true that you have Russian roots? Yes, so I am some Russian, um, Swedish, French, oh. Scottish, Irish, and I like Dutch. Whoa. <laughs> I, I don't think having Russian roots has helped me learn Russian and easier because I find it a very challenging language and the alphabet is very different than the Latin alphabet. Mm. Uh, that's all. Okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. And once again, <laughs> happy birthday. Thank you.